Uh, counties across the Beehive State are certifying their election results, but at least one of them, Iron County, is now delaying because of questions over mail-in ballots. ABC 4's Jordan Tracy joins us live in studio to break it down. Jordan, you've actually heard from voters who say now their votes won't count. Is that right? Yes, yeah, Sarah, that's right. And quite frankly, they're not happy about this. The issue at hand is that 415 votes will not be counted because of a postmark dating the ballots for the day after Election Day, June 25th. A larger discrepancy than in other years, which has the county clerk questioning if these ballots are actually late. Really a travesty and really, really, really disheartening for me. Tiffany Matthews has been voting since she was 18 and calls it her sacred duty. But despite saying she dropped her ballot off on the 23rd at 2 p.m., she was told it was postmarked for after Election Day and won't be counted. It definitely interferes with the integrity of our voting system. I don't know how we can trust it. I just, I just don't know how the citizens can trust that system. And she's not alone. 415 ballots will not count because they were postmarked at the Postal Service Center in Las Vegas for June 25th. Iron County Clerk John Whitaker says that Southern Utahns mailing their ballots in pass through Vegas first. So if you mailed your ballot from Cedar City, like Tiffany, it went to Vegas before getting to the proper destination of Parowan, traveling 361 miles for a town that is just 20 miles away. Another voter with a ballot dropped off on the 23rd, devastated. I was shocked. I've been voting in Iron County for 33 years since I was 18. I have never had anything like this happen. Whitaker says he started asking questions when he realized nearly all of these ballots were marked for the 25th in Vegas, mixed with a pile of ballots that also had hand stamps for earlier dates in Utah. He thinks there is no way all of those ballots could be late. He admitted, though, there's no way of proving it that would let him be able to count these votes. Whitaker emotional at Monday's meeting while reading the letter he sent to the Postal Service. When I stand before the Board of Commissioners and present the canvas of election results, it is a sacred thing to me. I stand and present the results, my procedures, the turnout, any problems and how it went. This time I feel that over 400 voices were silenced for no good reason. Iron County Commissioner Paul Cousins says because of this, he actually voted against certifying the results earlier today and that the vote has been tabled until tomorrow at four o'clock. You can see his full statement on our website. Now, County Clerk John Whitaker did recommend certifying the results today because there isn't anything legally they can do to count these votes. He wants to meet with the Postal Service and election officials to fix this for the future. He also made it clear he wasn't bashing the Postal Service and commended the folks he's worked with in the past. One of the fixes he mentioned that voters agree with, like Matthews, a 24-hour drop box for the county, making it easier to turn in your vote. Reporting for ABC4 News, Jordan Tracy, back to you, Sarah.